All right, just, just gonna do a video as I'm walking along, um, maybe of little interest, or maybe of a lot of interest, because obviously it's just life here in La Mata. Well, it looks like we've got some of the Hells Angels there on the mobility scooters appearing. I don't normally see mobility scooters, to be honest. Pharmacy here seems to be getting a bit of an overhaul at the moment. Well, it looks like it might be getting a new entrance. Souvenir shop. Hardware store. And this is the only bank in La Mata, which is Sabadell. Another real estate agent. Tax office is on this side. We pay car tax and everything else. That's the place to do it. They're very helpful. They do speak English in there. They do struggle. Got some new signs on the store here. There's now uni. Used to be... Uh, what is it called? They changed the name. Uh, I forgot the name of it. Max Co-op, that's what it used to be. Uh, this one's recently renovated and opened. It was another store, but another restaurant, but it closed down. It didn't last a year. Shoe shop here. Good selection of shoes. Pub Mango, which is open all year round. This is a little bit of a nature reserve here, not for birds, but for plants. Because one of the problems they've had is um, some of the plants have sort of been attacked by foreign species. Um, so this has sort of been put here, or was already here, but they've sort of protected it uh, to regenerate some of the original plants. There is a placard for it somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Because obviously all the developments made a big change to the plants in the area. So obviously a lot of properties have been built over the years. This is where the kids hang out. All his mates hang around here. See, uh, the tour area is where you get the, um, the like donut type sticks. If you haven't tried them before with a hot chocolate, that's quite nice. Um, but for me, in this weather, it's not the perfect thing to be eating. And that's the Restaurante Asiatico. That's, that's the Chinese restaurant. Um, if you look on Google, it's got a lot of good reviews. The reason I know is I put them on Google and lots of people have actually took the time out to fill it in uh, and La Mata Frutas is there um, on the corner there they're one of the Instagram guys that one of my followers and I follow them and this is the what we call the Pacayo Park which is a little play area for the young kids over there now it's busy today because it's market day I'm going to see if we can find April One thing about the one of the things about these white apartments here, in the middle there, there's actually a, a swimming pool. So if you are looking for a, a new property, modern design, there's a few in there that are up for sale, and they do have their own swimming pool. I'm not sure what else they've got in there, but a lot of the developments in this area have their own private pools. I'm going to 
go at this end to see if we can find April. One of the things to be aware of, because this is on the coast, you, you find the apartments can be quite small. Um, but you adapt to it because you spend most of your time outdoors anyway. Or should do. I suppose the other thing you get in, which you normally don't get in the UK, for example, is a balcony. And that's the N332 there, that's the main road. About 40 minutes from Alicante. Let's go and see if we can find April. <laughs> 